Hey, oozes and bunnies. This is a preview of the most recent party planning, an extra podcast that the Join the Party crew makes for our Patreon. If you want to listen to the whole thing, go to patreon.com slash join the party pod. Check out this preview. Oh, I, I was I trying to look like I sneezed, and it didn't look like anything. I was trying that time. <laughs> 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 I've seized myself to death. That's true. First, everyone look at my new tattoo. Look at it. It looks so good. It does. This is like the first day. It doesn't look. It doesn't look gross. Like new tattoo. It's so funny, we recorded that party planning, and then immediately I'm like, I don't know, maybe I'll get a tattoo, and then I'm like, oh yeah, there it is. And then I got the tattoo. <laughs> and then I got it. It's, exa- it's exactly in one of the places that I said I was going to do it. Um, hey, Brandon, we're, we are two men with microphones. So, what? And it is currently still the end of 2023. What? When we're recording this. So I think, mandatorily, we have to talk about the best video games of 2023. <laughs> it is the law. Unfortunately, we cannot break the said law. The punishment is a... We're not allowed to eat red meat anymore if we take the... Yeah. If, we did the if we do the illegal thing. Yeah. Um, Joe Rogan will come and call us cucks mm-hmm. and then he'll leave and that will just burn us for so long that we mm-hmm, won't want to mm-hmm, deal with it. It'll mm-hmm. be bad. And once you piss off Joe Rogan, you're done in podcasting. <laughs> <laughs> he has so much money. He has so much money. Um, be- because of the way that this is laid out in that I play a lot of video games and you watch Lauren play a lot of video games, mm-hmm. <laughs> I was realizing that this is a real spirits podcast format. Mm-hmm. So, do you want to pretend that this is a video game version of Spirits? I do. Welcome right. to... I know you wrote one. I'm going to do one I did off write. the dome. No, you, you try. You try. Welcome. Welcome to... Uh, what's a good name? Welcome to One Up Podcast. Uh, <laughs> Brent, a... you know that shit exists from 2014. You of course it does. does. That's why I called yeah, it that. Yeah. <laughs> I, did, I did write one. Do you want me to do the intro that I wrote? Yeah, I do. Okay. Welcome to Hard Mode, a boozy dive about games, play, and folklore. Every week, we pour a hard drink and learn about a game we've been thinking about. I'm Amanda. And I'm Julia. Oh, no, wait. I'm Julia. No, you're Amanda. Sorry. No, no, you're Amanda. Amanda. No, Amanda does the intro. I know, but I also, I realize oh, that right. I'm yeah, Julia yeah, yeah, in this yeah, situation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I, you, like Amanda, watches ghosts, and Julia is a ghost. Yeah, well, let me, here, I'll, I'll take it for you then. Welcome okay. to Hard Mode, a boozy dives in game. A boozy dives into games, plays, folklore, and every week we pour a hard drink and learn about a game that we've been thinking about. I'm Amanda. And I'm Julia. And this week we're talking about our favorite games from 2023. Fucking nailed it! Boop, 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 <laughs> boop. That's how it goes. That's how the theme song goes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, all right, so Brandon, I have my 10, my 10 games that I like the most during 2023 some of them are most of them are video games some of them will tabletop rpgs some of them were like vibes experiences just life mm-hmm. and um can you like be my chat and like get in the chat and like tell me stuff while mm-hmm. i'm talking about this mm-hmm. yeah wow brandon just donated 20 dollars telling me to take my top off that's crazy <laughs> i'm not gonna do that but i'm it's not gonna wrong, refund the 20 dollars. it's the wrong kind of chat eric it's the wrong kind of chat <laughs> Brandon gifts sent me a gift sub saying, take your top off. <laughs> I did just donate 20 gift subs. So uh, if you could thank me profusely on li- like on air, because um, sure. I want to be I want to be, uh, you know, overly righteous in the chat to my fellow sure. poor people. I feel like your name would be like yellow potato 69 or something mm-hmm, mm-hmm. or double triple baked potato 69. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's like, hey man, triple baked potatoes been weak since the beginning. My first sub, always here, shows up at my house. Totally fine with it though. I'm working through it. Mm-hmm. I'm in. So. I'm under your cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Brandon has funded my whole thing here because uh, he keeps <laughs> sending stuff to me. I keep losing ten percent to Twitch, and it's <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. <laughs> okay, Brandon, do you want to? Do, should I go ten to one? What do you? I have it vaguely ranked. I want I want you to go like your 
I know this isn't a least favorite to most favorite situation, but like, let's do like the one that like, let's do the oddball one. Sure. No, let's start with like the most commercial one and then go to the oddball ones. Okay, so then I'll I'll start off with the obvious one. My game of the year is Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, my folks. I now I did not play Baldur's Gate. And we're going to talk about that later on <laughs> in this episode. We I tried on stream and it crashed three times. It's, a, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. Uh, so I didn't play Baldur's Gate. I didn't have any interest in it. But I also think that like people forgot how fucking excited we were when Zelda came out. Mm-hmm. The, the the sequel to, T- to Breath of the Wild, which was like the game you gave to people so they understood why video games were good. Right. I feel like we were we for we memory hold this. They're like that's what Breath of the Wild is or was before this came out. Like mm-hmm. this was packaged with the Switch the entire time. You like get a Switch, you'll understand video games. You're allowed to like video games as an adult and you can play it and kind of understand this experience you can have with it. It's not just Pac-Man anymore, folks. Uh, <laughs> and now, and now, Tears of the Kingdom was like, oh, we've been waiting for it for so long. Nintendo was sitting on it. The hype, the build up to it. I looked up when I bought it. Like, it came out in April. So it was like, there was full, like, Six months, if not more, of like real build up. When is it going to come out? When is it going to come out? Nintendo finally announced it, and then we were excited about it. And then it was like a direct sequel. It's in the same space, but the the environment's a little bit different. And then you get all these fucking cool powers. <laughs> you can jump and go through the ceiling. It's a vertical game, my friend. Yeah, it goes is, up and down. That is the coolest part of that. My favorite part is when he pops his head out and he's like, oh. Can I, oh. should I continue? And then you're or... like, no, no, no. And no, then no, you no. go back down. Go back down. <laughs> like, Ascent is so wild. The fact that you can stick anything to anything is so wild. Mm-hmm. I think that the puzzles, which everyone chafed against this the most, the puzzles and, like, the shrines from, from Breath of the Wild. And it's like, oh, I got to go in there and just do a stupid Nintendo puzzle, which usually has to do with, like, voice controls or, like, motion controls. And I'm going to mess with it. No, you really can do it however you want. Like, if you want to cheese it, it's up to you because mm-hmm. you, the whole game is cheesing it because mm-hmm. you can just stick things together. The first yeah. time I realized that you could just, like, stick trees together as a bridge and you could just go anywhere with that, I'm like, oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> it's like uh, Minecraft for uh, adult children. <laughs> mm. And it's like, in, I'm not even that kind of person that likes making weird stuff. Like, I think the other thing is remember is to remember was like the whole internet was flooded with the stuff that people were making. Like, immediately someone made a guy with, like, a flaming penis in, in Tears of the King of like 24 mm-hmm. hours in. And like, mm-hmm. I'm not even about that, but man, I just spent so much time doing whatevs, man. Just, just walking around, running around, figuring things out, sticking stuff together. I think from a combat perspective, which I think people kind of throw it to the side because Zelda is like about exploration and mm-hmm. the fact that you have to stab moblins with a sword is kind of just like, ancillary to that but like man it was so fun sticking plants to arrows and shooting them out Mm -hmm. i there i i love that so so much the infinite combinations of stuff you could attach to other stuff and like just destroy everything and do whatever now i do my favorite moment my favorite moment of the entire year was probably falling into the depths and realizing the whole thing was there yeah, it was all there, and it was secretly there the entire time. Yeah, it's huge that it's that area. Huge, and it's like the inverse, and it's the inverse of the ground. And then there's the sky too, mm-hmm. and fighting the massive, the, like the massive dragons. Fighting bosses was actually super fun, mm-hmm. which is not something you could say about a Zelda game. It yeah. was like the barrier you rammed your head into. And I think that the, this coming off of like Elden Ring, where more and more people kind of like understood, you got to figure out the patterns and do stuff and like get get used to your stuff but like then in but you could also like have this incredible setup where it's like I'm going to shoot seven arrows with my incredible triple bow and all of them have jewels attached to them which do massive damage you could do that too mm-hmm. and I don't think I've ever had more fun fighting massive um bosses outside of like a massive boss game like a FromSoft game or a, like a Dark Souls-esque games or like 
uh, G- G- the Colossus, Battle mm-hmm. Shadow of the Colossus. He was mm-hmm. actually incredible. And like, man, the confirmation bias on on Baldur's Gate three, or it's like the horniness and the confirmation bias of Baldur's Gate three. I just just I I'm uh, I'm surprised how so many people said Baldur's Gate three was the best as compared to how just Zelda Zelda melted our brains for so long, and then we're like, ah, we're done. We're ah, I'm done. Yeah, well, th- this is what I'm curious about. Well, one, I have a big, I have a very, very important question for you. Sure. Um, when you are sticking things together, what do you imagine the the glue as? Because I imagine it as oh, like sure. chewing gum. <laughs> mm. I just thought it was magic gum, just, just magic, magic gum, sticky, <laughs> magic sticky gum. Like it's the magic of Zelda just kind of like came down and went bloop 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 and like put some <laughs> glue, put some glue down. I love that. Well, yeah, because it's a. Uh, I think this is really interesting because uh, Lauren didn't really like it that much, like comparatively. Uh, she had a sure. good time playing it, um, but she never, I don't think she finished it. It was like too mm. big for her. Yeah. Like the underground was like, like she was finally comprehending the middle, middle earth. <laughs> yeah. Right. And then dropped down and was like, Oh fuck. It's this again times two. And now it's dark. Like it was like too overwhelming. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I I don't know. I I didn't really have I didn't I didn't feel the urge personally to play Breath of the Wild even. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I I think it's it's it seemed to be a sort of divisive game, but yeah. also like objectively good. Yeah, so, I think yeah. I think that it was all everything else. Every single of the ten, I'm going to say, I feel like I had a real push and pull with it somewhere. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I think that the fact that this was a Nintendo game and it was so hyped up, and we were waiting for it for so long, they worked on it for so long. The Switch has terrible, really, really bad specs. Mm-hmm. Like it, it is, it cannot process mm-hmm. a lot of a lot of game game chunks. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So the fact that they made it look so pretty, it. Fl- Worked so well, and they worked on it for so long, and they got pushed back by the pandemic and everything. I think that the hype around it almost knocked it down. I mean, we're coming into Oscar season, and it's very much like the, it's riding the momentum here yeah. for what it's supposed to be. Like Nintendo is like killer. This is like Killers of the Flower Moon almost. It's like <laughs> yes, this is another Zelda game. This is another Nintendo game. It is exactly like the kind of movies this makes. This is what you're expecting. But God damn it, it was so good. And it was doing stuff that you hadn't seen before. Like, yeah. we would we forget how cool Ascend is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was great. My favorite part was the accent work. If you like that, you gotta hear the rest of Party Planning by joining the Patreon at patreon.com slash join the party pod.